A leak in the refrigerant circuit is sometimes difficult to find, but there are different methods of how to find the leak. We recommend three different methods of leak detection. We'll show you how to use the leak detection spray. Then you'll see the correct use of halogen gas detectors. You'll also find this equipment in specialized trade stores. The third possibility is the use of contrast agent. This additive is called Tracer and is made of fluorescent coloring liquid. It's available with the number on your screen, 0009-890-609. The contrast agent is also available in a refill bottle, good for 50 applications, with this number, A000-890-209. A large bottle on the right of the picture has 71 applications with the part number A0009-890109. Please note that only this additive is approved. With proven use of other leak additives, costs will not be reimbursed within the warranty. A green sticker is used to show that contrast agent was used. You'll also need a special cleaning agent. The spray bottle has the part number on your screen. A0109-894-671. And you'll get the refill with the number A0109-894-612. In order to prove a pressure loss, suction the refrigerant out and fill the system with nitrogen. Do not fill with more than 15 bar of pressure. Watch the pressure gauge closely. If the pressure drops quickly, there is a larger leak and the search method with the leak detection spray works well here. Simply spray on to the suspicious places. You found the leak if bubbles form. In our case, the ceiling ring at the pressure switch is damaged. Be meticulous when searching for leaks and don't forget to examine any part of the system. The connections and flanges of the lines are always liable. Now we'll show you the use of the halogen gas detector. This can only be used when the system is filled with refrigerant. Therefore, make sure the system is full. When inoperative, the low pressure, blue, and the high pressure, red, must have around the same pressure. Switch on the gas detector and calibrate the equipment with the ambient air. Short beeping signals let you know that the detector is operable. Because refrigerant is heavier than air and sinks downward, always insert the gas detector on the underside of the areas to be checked. Note, never use the detector when the engine is running due to the swirling air caused by the engine exhaust. A draft can also lead to false results because the gaseous refrigerant could be blown into the wrong places and detected. A continuous tone announces the leak. To the last testing method. If during a leak test with nitrogen, pressure escapes very slowly, that means the system has a small leak. Observe the pressure over a period of four hours. In this case, we recommend the use of the fluorescent coloring agent, Tracer which is brought into the refrigerant circuit. We recommend the use of methods 1 and 2 first, then if you have no success with the leak spray or halogen gas detector, then use the method with the tracer agent. First assemble the filler device. Please wear protective gloves. Screw on the rear end of the pressure testing device. And in front, screw on the hose and the valve. Now press a little additive from the cartridge. 
This prevents air from getting into the refrigerant circuit. Then you can fill the additive into the already full refrigerant circuit. Attach the adapter at the filler connection. Fill only with 5 mm. This corresponds to one line on the cartridge. And please don't forget to attach the green sticker under the AC label. This is a reference that a contrast agent was used. Now we wait. You can send the customer back on the road with the vehicle. And after some days or weeks, check the refrigerant circuit in the vehicle once again. Put on eye protection and check the lines with a UV lamp. UV light makes the contrast agent clearly visible. If the contrast agent came out through a leak, you'll discover that with the check. You'll find further information on the leak test in the VIST document with the number on your screen.